smells so good. Add tablespoons. So now we are ready for our liquid. Yep. The cookie crew uses several key ingredients to create its ooey gooey delicacies. Let's do a little bit more. From flour and sugar to chocolate. I guess we can probably do one and a half more trays after this one. But the most crucial additive, inclusion. And if we want to do maybe a few here. The nonprofit on Richmond's South Side opened its new bricks and mortar store in November. The bakery serves two purposes. It's two salted chocolate chip and one banana muffin. Satisfy the sweet tooth and provide life-changing opportunities for people normally on the outside looking in. Tablespoons, part of the Next Move program, hires and trains young adults with challenges like Chris Brennan. 2350. Chris, who lives with learning disabilities, entered the Next Move program in 2013 in Tablespoons five years ago. He got a Cheyenne box. Chris says he flourishes working with patrons, muffins, and cookies. I used to be shy at first, and now I really opened up. Thanks, Chris. Co-founder Elizabeth Redford says the unemployment rate for young adults like Chris hovers around 70%. And what we see so often is that these young adults, they graduate from high school, and they often just sit at home, sometimes indefinitely. Elizabeth says what Chris learns behind the counter. So we have banana muffins. Will help him when he's front and center in life. And since then, we've seen him grow and develop in so many ways. We've seen confidence grow. We've seen him become more outgoing with our customers. We've seen him become more and more of a leader with us. A little bit more. There you go. Yeah. Tablespoons churns out hundreds of cookies. All right, this one's ready as well. For their monthly cookie club. Each going to go into the sprinkle boxes uh -huh. that we set up. From baking to boxing. Wonderful. All right, Shell. Tablespoon staff members, including Shelly Lance, do it all. Good teamwork, you guys. <laughs> I, I like to talk with customers. So at Tablespoons, we've been able to employ five young adults with disabilities. Director of Education Kelsey Dunn says her colleagues serve up happiness. That's what makes our program different, is that we do know how to meet people where they are and provide them the supports that they need to become confident and successful in their job tasks. Cookie sales help cover the cost of rent and training programs. Wonderful. How much is that, Shell? $5.50. $5.50. In the months and years ahead, the nonprofit would like to add catering and wholesale to their mixing bowl. I enjoy baking. I enjoy um, talking to customers. What's very important to us is we want to make sure that our young adults are learning transferable job skills. While not letting the cookie crumble. Second row is our um, Oreo and cream sandwiches. Chris is tasting the sweet success in life. I uh, work extremely hard. If I, um, if there's a new task to do or something to do, I'll just jump right into it. Chris Brennan, a valued member of the Tablespoons team, which has the ingredients to bake a difference. I love it a lot, a lot, a lot. This spring, Chris is tackling a new role at Tablespoons. He is becoming a mentor for some interns from area high schools. If you'd like to learn more about the nonprofit's delicious cookie program, I have that information on our website, WTVR.com. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.